Hi SJC, hope you've had a good week so far. I can't wait to share today's story with you today. But first, let's recap on last week. Rosanna told us all about Paul and Silas, how they were two friends who wanted to serve God by telling others about him. But that didn't end well and they ended up in prison. But do you remember, they didn't give up on God, did they? They worshipped God even more. Even when things were bad or scary, they knew that God was still good. So let's carry on. The reading today comes from Romans 8, verses 38 to 39. It's a letter from Paul, and it says this. For I am convinced that neither death nor life neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Wow, Paul sounds so confident, doesn't he? That absolutely nothing will separate God's love from us. Do you know, God's love is actually a little bit like this Play-Doh. This is God's great big heart, and this is us. When we put ourselves and all our confidence into God, and when we live believing what Paul has said to be true, nothing will separate us. Sometimes we might feel sad, or like things aren't going the way we've planned, but as you can see here, God is with us always. There is absolutely nothing that will separate this now and nothing will separate his love. Isn't that amazing? Another quick verse I love is Hebrews 13 verse five. And it says this, be content with what you have because God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. This gives us so much confidence of his love. Let's just take a second to pray on this. If you feel comfortable, you might wanna close your eyes and put your hands together. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you that you are a God that loves. Thank you that despite what life may throw at us, you will always be by our side. Help us to know just how much you love us. Help us to live with this confidence in remembering every day that nothing can separate us from your love. We ask these things in your name, Lord. Amen. This has been such a heartwarming reading and I really hope you feel the same too. Thank you, SJC. Have a fantastic week ahead and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye.